Hey guys, it's Michael here from FlySight. Uh, in the last video, I outlined three phases of a high performance landing. In this video, we're going to start at the top with the energy building phase. We're going to assume that you start this phase in steady flight and then perform a series of maneuvers, which winds up with your canopy pointed at the ground. There are two big questions we're going to try to answer. First, how can we measure how much energy would come out of that phase with uh, so that we can compare one jump to another and measure our progress? And second, how can we determine what we need to change in order to produce more energy? The best measure of your energy at the end of this phase is your maximum vertical speed in your dive. We can measure this in FlySight Viewer by zooming into the landing uh, changing to the measurement tool, then clicking and dragging across the peak and vertical speed. Uh, that's the green line in this plot. In the tooltip that comes up, your maximum vertical speed is the last value in the green row here. There's one caveat here. At a higher elevation, your maximum vertical speed will naturally be higher. So you'll have to be careful when you're comparing numbers from two different drop zones. Other than that, there are a lot of pilot-controlled factors which can affect your maximum vertical speed. Uh, if we think of a typical approach where you start in brakes, move to both front risers, and then shift to a single front riser, uh, these factors might include uh, how long you hold both front risers. So when you first pull both front risers down, your canopy will pick up speed. But usually after about three seconds, your body will swing back under the canopy and you'll actually see a decrease in total speed. They might also include how quickly you transition into the dive. If you're too fast, you'll lose some energy to drag caused by your control inputs. But if you're too slow, you'll run out of altitude and you'll have to make adjustments in the next phase. This is where the input of a coach is indispensable, uh, since they can look at what you're flying, what control inputs you're making, etc. Uh, and suggest changes. You can use the fly site to measure the effect of those changes. If you're using fly site for swooping now, uh, I'd love to hear what figures you keep an eye on. Uh, also, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.